Hi there, Cigar Box guitar fans. Today I'm going to teach you how to play th three string slide guitar on my Cigar Box guitar. And I reckon I'm going to have you play on a tune in about five minutes. So the first thing we're going to do is tune the guitar, the three strings of the guitar. Now, as you can see, I like to use a, um, an app on my phone to tune my guitars. Um, they're free, most of them. Um, the one I use is called Pro Guitar Tuner. Um, I think that costs a couple of bucks, but it's worth the money. Uh, everyone has a mobile phone and you can take it anywhere with you and uh, set it up. So it's really simple. What we're going to do is to tune it to um, open D. And the notes in open D for each of the strings is D, A, D. So the fat string, that's the one closest to my chest, um, is going to be tuned to D. Let me just strum that. Okay, as you can see, it is slightly high. Just going to let that off a bit. pretty close. The next string, the middle string, is going to be tuned to A. As you can see that's a little high, I'm going to let that off a bit. That looks pretty close. And the final string, the thin string, which is furthest away from me, is also going to be tuned to D. As you can see, that's also a little bit high. Gonna let that off a bit. Okay. All right, that's pretty close, close enough. Okay, so now we've got the guitar tuned. Um, I'm going to show you a really simple pattern on the neck of the guitar and all we're going to be using is a slide and our fingers on our right hand. We're not going to use a guitar pick or anything like that. Um, there's a whole lot of different slides you can use. I'm going to demonstrate it with this copper slide that I made for myself. but. There are also other slides you can get, ceramic slides. Um, you can use pretty much whatever you've got lying around the house. An old empty beer bottle, you know, a liqueur bottle, a flask if you want to, um, and just a shot glass. I mean, you know, as long as it's smooth and it's got a rounded edge, I mean, you can pretty much use anything. Um, back in the day, people used to use spoons and, you know, knives and all sorts of things. But um, try and get yourself some sort of a slide and you're on your way. Now, I'm not going to confuse the issue by trying to tell you what the various notes are that I'm about to play on the guitar. Just I'm going to guide you by frets and the fret markers. So um, the fret markers are these black lines that I've got on my guitar and the dots are graduations up the guitar that we use as reference to know what um, chord we're playing in. So when you play this as an open chord that's hitting all the three strings as you can see, we're in the key of D, which is called open D. And when you put your slide, I, I put mine on my index finger, but other guys put it on the other fingers. It's just whatever you feel comfortable with yourself. 
when you place that slide on the neck, you're just touching the strings gently and you're placing the guitar over the fret markers to get the sound. Not in the middle, like on a conventional guitar, but directly over the fret markers. So just keep that in mind. Now, the frets that we're going to use today are just a, a couple of them. We're going to use the third one, which has got that white dot on it. We're going to use the fifth one, which has got another white dot on it. We're going to use the tenth and the twelfth. The twelfth has a pair of dots. Now, I won't confuse you by telling you any more than that. We're just going to use four frets. The third, the fifth, the tenth, and the twelfth. Alrighty then. Now, the other thing I want to mention is that on a three-string guitar box guitar, most players use the fat string, the one closest to your body, as a bass string. It's almost like um, a bass guitar string. Um, it keeps the beat when you're playing. And the other two strings, the middle one and the thin one on the far side, um, they create your melodies or your chords. So doing the bass note, for example, if you just play it open, use your thumb. That's your bass note. To play the chords and melodies, use the middle and thin string. So hit them both together. Let it ring out. Hear that glorious sound of the strings resonating. good does that sound eh? right so with this little tune that I'm going to play it's reminiscent of a lot of blues tunes um, Little Red Rooster um, and so many other that borrow from this pattern um, we're not going to play the whole pattern we're only going to play the first part of it to keep it simple and get you going as I said I'm going to teach you how to play in five minutes right here so what we're going to do to start with is get the beat going and use your thumb for this so it's now get that into your head absorb that into your muscle memory and think about that now I tend to deaden the string or dampen the string with my thumb after I've hit it. Just to get started, do that for five or ten minutes. See if you can get the hang of that. And what we're going to do is add to that the chords and the melody. So to start with, we do this. Keep playing. 
playing that over and over and over for a while and really get that in your muscle memory. Okay, and then what we're going to do is add a few little tricks to that to make it sound better, like sliding up into it. So we start off with our bass again. I'm hitting almost simultaneously the middle and thin string with my thumb. Okay. So just keep playing that little little tune, that little riff for a while. Just keep doing that over and over and over and over and over. That's how you learn. You just keep repeating, repeating, repeating and repeating till it absolutely gets into your muscle memory. Okay, now that's pretty easy to do. And then once you've conquered that, you can add a few little tricks to that to um, make it a bit more interesting, advance your skills and your knowledge a bit further. And what I mean by that is we're going to use the 10th and the 12th fret as well. So let me demonstrate. noticed I'm getting a little bit of vibrato in there and that's by shaking your index finger here like that's called vibrato mm -hmm. 